The Magnificence of Mr. Rudolph O. Pluckett, Part 4. And now we come to the most important part of our story, the day that Rudy O. Pluckett made everything better for Carl. You'll recall that they were both waiting to exit the parking lot. Carl was ahead. Rudy was right behind him. There was a lot of traffic that day, so Carl waited patiently for an opening. But Rudolph, Rudy, Oh, Pluckett, was never patient. How dare this idiot slow him down. But Carl still couldn't move. There were still lots and lots of cars ahead of him. So Rudy did it again. Move, you moron, move! And then when Carl still didn't move, Rudy got out of his car and stalked up to Carl's. And after that, and after, 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 and suddenly it dawned on Carl that this was the story of his existence. There had always been some fat, bullying bastard making his life hell. But it also struck him that he had nothing left to lose anymore. And thus we say that in spite of all the awful things that were said about Mr. Rudolph O. Pluckett, Rudy, to his friends, if he had had any friends, that there was in a moment in his life when he did something genuinely grand. He helped poor Carl achieve his greatest goal in life, that is, to be utterly avenged. Thus is proved the old thesis that there is always some good in everyone, and that we may all leave the world a better place than we found it. Mm -hmm.